today is the day, man. Your boy gonna try to build him a rear deck for the box Chevy. You know, I already built my console. I already built the grill. So I'm like, hey, I might as well go ahead and try to build, uh, build the back deck. So we're gonna go to Home Depot. We're gonna get some wood. See how much the wood costs. We're gonna get some mesh. They got the mesh at Home Depot. We're gonna order some material to wrap it. Uh, what else we gonna do? Uh, and they got some speaker grill cloth. It got little small fine detail holes in it so you can hear your speakers over the uh, over the material and you won't be able to see to see your uh, speaker. So, I mean, let's give it a shot. It's not gonna be an off the chain, man, off the chain back deck or nothing like that, but we are gonna give this thing a shot, man. We are gonna see how it turn out and uh, I think it's gonna turn out pretty good, man. It's all about DIY sometime, you know. It, it's, it's not, sometime I like to try it myself, so I wanna give it a shot. Like I say, it's not gonna be real exclusive, but I still wanna get it, give it a shot, man. So um, let's go to Home Depot. Let's try to get these pieces and let's see what we come up with. We made it to Home Depot, so let's go in here and let's get the wood and let's see how this thing turn out. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this type of mesh right here. This type of mesh right here it costs about 17 bucks. 17, I think. Yeah, $17 for this mesh right here. And that's a lot of mesh. You know how many grills you can make with that? So, yeah, that's, that's, that's. Perfect. It's a perfect mesh you can get. Now you can go to cargrills.com and pay a little bit more for different type of mesh, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. Back fiberglass piece that goes on the window, it also has to go, it has to sit down. So you don't wanna get it too thick because that it has to sit in place. And you'll put your fiberglass in a bind if you get it too big so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go with this this thin they got it this is the wood that i'm getting right here and this is the price and it's thin so you can work up a lot of layers instead of using this thick board trying to build up so many layers, you don't want to do that. So me personally, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get this thin board. Yep, that'll be better. Then you wanna, you wanna come get you a saw. I think I got this saw. I got this saw at the house house already, so it's like $60. Then I'm guessing that you want to come over here and get you a, a Dremel so you can uh, shave your edges like you want it. So that Dremel is $50. And then you know, Basically what I use is um, one of those, one of these things right here, once I cut it out and then I can shave, you know, I can start shaving off edges and stuff that I don't want. Okay, bad. But yeah, that's, that's how we gonna do it. We gonna roll with that. We gonna get that a shot, man. And let's tally up everything and see how much all of this costs. And then we're gonna go to the house and do our measurements from there. I also ordered the uh, speaker grill cloth. That's what that stuff made for. So you can cover your speaker up and uh, you won't see it, but you will hear it. So that's what that stuff made for. That stuff was $12. And I also ordered the eggplant vinyl uh, wrap. That's the same thing I got on my console. That was $22. So let's add it up and see how much money I spent on me trying to build my own rear deck. So I spent $175. That's what we in so far into making this back deck, $175. So let's give it a shot. We got 
material on the way. We got the mesh, we got the board. Uh, let's do the measurements now. And uh, we're gonna see $175 uh, back deck. So let's see how it turns out. I already got some of this board, but y'all see how thick this board is? And I'm gonna tell you why I didn't get it this reason thick. reason I didn't get it this thick is because with the LS box, this piece got to come down some. So if I would've got that thick board, how was I gonna get, you know what I'm saying, get my stuff to lay down flush like it's supposed to and plus the corners. So I had to get the thin board. That's why I said get the thin board because it gotta sit down off in there. All right, now it's time for measurements. Time for measurements. I eliminated my third I mean, not my third, uh, my uh, seat belts back here. So I'm gonna go straight across with the board. Ain't nobody gonna be sitting back there, so I'm not worried about it. I eliminated those seat belts. So let's see how far we need to come out. How far, how long this back deck needs to be. So the measurements that we came up with is uh, five feet. We're gonna do five feet. We're gonna do five feet on this back deck. And y'all know that I'm keeping my third brake light, so I already got it set in place. Only thing I gotta do is cut this out. And we're gonna get started. I already got my designs, but this is gonna be, I decided to go ahead and connect this, so I'm gonna do two boards. One is gonna be cut out all the way across, and one board will be cut with these like inserts so I can give myself a, a, a small design but we are gonna do five feet now another thing with these back decks is you know it's it's wider longer white right in the middle and it starts to get smaller as you come down it starts to get a little smaller so you're gonna have to uh, watch out for that just make this part start big then start working your way in you see why I say get the thin board see how it's starting to turn out and I got that thin I got two thin pieces of board in there amongst that fiberglass piece that goes in the back just imagine if I would got that thick board I wouldn't have been able to get the whole board in there because it, it would have been too thick if I would got this board right here it wouldn't have went in the uh, in the back all the way to the back. So, y'all getting the idea? Material gonna stuff down in there, so we gonna be good to go. So, let me cut out this other piece, and I'm gonna lay both of them on top. I'm not gonna leave them uh, separated. How I got this? I'm gonna have one big long piece, and this is gonna be the cutout for the six by nine, and the mesh will go in the middle. So. Let's give it a shot. All right, um, those two boards, if I put two of those thin boards down there, it's gonna kinda put that fiberglass in a bind. So I came up with some little foam that will give it some relief or whatever. Like I say, we're just trying something out. I'm freestyling as I go. So I lay the foam down, as you can see, and lay the foam down. I come with the material on top of it. Then I set the mesh. I set the mesh on top of it. I got the hole cut out for the speaker. And then I put it in the car. No, I put the I put the material. Yeah, I put it in the car and then I put the uh the, the All face right. on top. That's how it turned out. You see the uh Y'all kind of getting the idea. Like I say, this part, this fiberglass is gonna hold that board, this part of the board down. Then of course my third brake light is gonna hold it down in the middle. And y'all see, see how it look? You can see the material in there. You can see the mesh. Of course, I'm gonna cut that hole out a little bigger. Then I'm gonna put that speaker grill, uh, speaker cloth that I bought and put it on, on top. Then I'm gonna make a little slant right there. If you wanna look at it in the inside, but See how it is. There's nothing in the middle. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. So that's what we got. If it's gonna work, it's gonna work. No matter how it looks, 
you know, from the rough draft part. If it's gonna work, it's gonna work. So I'm gonna put this third brake light here and give you an idea. This is what it looks like with the third brake light in. See, it's starting to look like something now, huh? It's starting to look like something. Yep. I had to uh, fabricate that third brake light to make it work, but as you can see, you see the material in the mesh, and then in the middle, it don't come with nothing. But when you when I get ready to do this, the original cars, the the fabric lays down anyway, and it comes over like this, and it hangs right here. But I'm gonna bolt my fabric down. I mean, about three three screws in my fabric, so that's gonna hold it down. This is holding it down. This is holding it down. So. That's how I'm gonna do mine. So it's gonna turn out, it's gonna turn out pretty good. Just hold your horses. For example, like on this car, the material goes all the way down. The all the way down. So that's how I'm gonna do this car. Well, as I eliminated the uh, the rear seat belts, the DS18 speaker fits right in place. It's right here. The only thing I gotta do is cut a hole out. I didn't have to do nothing at the bottom. It fit right here in place. The only thing I gotta do is cut the hole out and it actually come come up some. So yeah, that's a perfect fit. There it is, YouTube. Fit like a glove. Took out the uh, seat belt and it literally fit right in there. I, I had started cutting it out but shoot when I test fit fit right in there no problem no problem fit right in there so y'all get an idea alright my uh, DS18 light up speakers came for, uh, for the rear deck and they only had blue red and green so Everybody know when you put blue and red together, As what you, you get. See, I got the blue and red hooked up, so you know what color we gonna get. This is music. Perfect. Let me cut the light out so y'all can see it. Looks purple to me. Huh? All right, I finally got material in. See, that's the material. So we about to get ready to wrap this thing right here. And cut the holes out and place it on the car. All right. Got it halfway wrapped. Let's put it in the car. See how it turn out. Well, there it is, YouTube. Finished product. One inch Super Tweeters work. DS18 6x9s work. Hooked on an amp. It's the final product, YouTube. I think it came out pretty good. As you can see, you got your black right there. Then you got your purple right there showing. Got it in good down there. Purple, the black, purple DS18, one inch. I thought this was suede, but it actually is uh, velvet. So I don't know if I'm gonna leave that, but y'all see that I did that also. But anyway, YouTube, man, y'all hop down, comment section. Tell me what you think. Is it?